In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can overload specific movements utilizing micro weights. The main focus is going to be on Lula Exogen and their wearable technology. This uses micro weights that you can Velcro to various parts of the body, i.e. through their calf sleeves, shorts and t-shirts. By manipulation of the weights and the positions that you load, you can create different forces, different corrective forces, and increase the rate of force development, and also really specifically target muscle groups. So if an athlete has a weak heel recovery, for example, by loading the calf, then you're going to be able to create greater awareness and muscular activation of the hamstring muscles, and of course the hip flexors and extensors. By, for example, loading down by the ankle again, we're going to be able to allow the foot to create greater force into the track surface. In the past, if you wanted to overload your body whilst jumping and sprinting, for example, you'd have to use ankle weights or weighted jackets. Now, both of those means tend to not be stable and fitted to you as you're moving around. So they're going to affect your movement patterning. Also, the potentiality to microload is minimal in that many weighted jackets are quite substantial. You only want to increase resistance marginally in many cases as you can affect the movement patterns achieved by the athlete. We want the contacts, the rate of force development to be greater if possible than without wearable resistance. And if you're bounding in a heavy weighted vest, for example, then you're going to slow your contacts down. However, it appears to me that with this technology, by loading distally around the car, for example, you can actually increase the rate of force development on, on the swing contact leg coming into the contact. Now, it's going to take some experimentation. And as far as I know, there aren't a lot of protocols out there that will guide us in our usage. So we're somewhat sailing blind a little bit. And I'll be using my coach's eye, coach's knowledge and art and science in order to see what we can do. Hopefully, we're going to get some great results. But for me to get excited about a new piece of kit is quite unusual in that I often raise an eyebrow and say, well, it's done before or it won't work. This, however, seems to have a lot of potentialities. I've identified two potential ways of getting the most out of the Lila Exogen kit, and that is to correct movement imbalances, limb imbalances, muscular imbalances, and secondly, to load in a very specific way movements, whether they be heel recovery for sprinting, or the takeoff and the swing leg mechanics. Also, when it comes to plyometrics, if you load distally, for example, at the calf, then the forces are going to be magnified due to the effect that momentum has on the movement. A long lever will produce greater forces than a shorter lever. So we've already started to experiment with both of these prongs targeted approaches to utilizing the kit and as you're seeing on screen now you're seeing some of the work that we've already accomplished so we'll be looking to see whether that translates into greater jump distance and speed it's very much early days in our usage of the lila exogen kit so do look out for more videos as to how we get on with it i've also got shorts and t-shirts for the other guys to try out over the next few weeks months and it looks like it's a very, very positive way to specifically overload and correct imbalances. If you'd like to find out more about the kit, then do drop me a message or go online to search for Lila Exogen. Wherever you are in the world, there should be a distributor. Well, I hope this introduction to the Lila kit and wearable resistance will help you and explain a few concepts in your training and for your application of any of these means. Do look out for more videos on this subject in the future. And if you've got any specific questions, do leave them in the comments section below or through my other social media. And as usual, thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll know when I upload new content. And do give this video a thumbs up. And of course, good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up.